the prophecy of the three Vladimirs, what Elder Monk Abel said about the future of Russia and the predictions that he made that have been already fulfilled, that came true. The monk Abel, the Christian Orthodox Abel, had unique psychic abilities. He had, of course, the grace of uh, discretion, of being able to tell a person's future. His predictions about the future of the country's rulers particularly always came true, meaning, of course, the rulers of Russia at that time. Of course, there are prophecies that to this day are the subject of various discussions, but it's difficult to deny that many of the monks' revelations have already come true. This draws the audience's attention to Father Abel's magical, well, magical, his uh, abilities are for to foretelling. In this uh, piece of work, we'll talk about five prophecies, every detail of which has already become part of our complex reality. It's true that the fifth point has not yet been fully realized. It's directly connected to the current president of Russia, Putin, Vladimir Putin, but there is no reason to doubt the truth of the monk's predictions. Let's remember that uh, Zelensky's name is also Vladimir, Vladimir. One of Abel's most famous prophecies is connected to the, with the date of the death of Empress Catherine II. It's worth noting that the words spoken by the monk greatly frightened the authorities. Monk Abel, Father Abel, was imprisoned in the Schlisselberg fortress, but after some time the ruler personally ordered the return of his freedom to uh, the seer. Abel's words came true with amazing precision. In 1796, Empress Catherine II died. And then he foretold concerning Nicholas, Tsar Nicholas II. The famous prophet said that the last ruler, that is the last Tsar of Russia from the Romanov dynasty, which was Nicholas II, of course, would lose his crown and wear a crown of thorns. And that happened for sure because there was martyrdom. When the monk was still alive, no one could have thought that this prediction would come true. Then people did not even think how bloody the future awaited for the long-suffering motherland of Russia. They could not imagine either the First World War or the Civil War. The monk, Monk Abel, had unique physical abilities. His prediction about the future of the rulers of our country particularly always came true. But already in 1917, Nicholas II, the Tsar, was overthrown by the Bolsheviks. Later, the emperor and his entire family would be shot. What did the monk say about Hitler's Germany? Father Monk Abel said that some people will come up with a philosophical movement that will replace Christian teaching, which will lead to the advent of a new age, quote unquote. He predicted both the appearance of the Antichrist and the apocalypse. There are many incomprehensible and rather controversial things in the predictions of Father Monk Abel, but the fact that many of them come true with amazing accuracy is surprising. His prophecies about the future of Russia told people a lot. Dozens of experts continue to study his sayings to this day, and ordinary people are interested in the prophecies of the monk. The more we think about the true meaning of Father Abel's sayings, the better we will be able to understand what awaits our country, that is Russia, and indeed the whole world in the future. What did Father Abel say about the Russia of our time? This question is answered by the monk's last prophecy, which has not yet been fully fulfilled. The three Vladimirs. Russia in recent history had to overcome many challenges. The world, turning to the prophet of the past, wants to understand what awaits our country that is Russia. Father Abel's most popular prediction tells exactly what challenges Russia will face. This prophecy spoke of three Vladimirs who significantly influenced the history of our country. The first two have already appeared in the past. The first Vladimir was a prince, Prince, prince Vladimir, and the second received the title of leader from history, but the third Vladimir faced a tougher test he is the one who has to save Russia. But what does this prediction have to do with modern Russia? Although many consider this prophecy to be foolish, many researchers are convinced of its significance. 
the belief that the third Vladimir could be Vladimir Putin, the current president of the Russian Federation. Father Monk Abel had unique physical abilities. His prediction about the future of the rulers of the country particularly always came true. The results of his reign are harshly criticized by many, but he cannot deny that he did much for Russia. I guess here they're talking about Putin. Within these two decades, the social situation in the country has stabilized and the economy is growing despite the difficulties. Yeah, the difficulties, all his friends are oligarchs stealing funds from the people. Uh, these funds belong to the people, but again, yet the oligarchs are there. Now, putting things in their pockets that don't belong to them. But anyway, that's my comment. But anyway, what does this prophecy have to do with modern Russia? Although many consider this prophecy ridiculous, many scholars of prophecy are convinced of its significance. In recent years, the country has become more stable and its economy more prosperous. I, I disagree with that. But anyway, I'm still going on with this article. Some political scientists argue that Putin has great influence on the world stage and is one of the most important leaders in the world. I doubt that. He doesn't even have proper elections. It's just farces. Now, in general, Father Abel's prophecy about the three Vladimir's can be interpreted in different ways. Some may see it as a mythical prophecy, while others may see it as a prediction of real events. Let's remember that this is not the real Putin. It's just some doppelganger that he has. Again, going on with the article. But no matter how you interpret it, Abel's prophecy was profound implication, has profound implications for Russia and provides insight into where the country is headed in the future. In fact, the prophecy bears striking similarities to the truth. Under the leadership of Vladimir III, the global transformation will begin. Yes, it's very difficult. Nevertheless, however, we certainly have opportunities. Do you think President Vladimir Putin is the third uh, uh, Vladimir? Again, I've translated this from a Greek article. Uh, again, let's remember, this is not the real Vladimir Putin. I don't know who the Vla where the Vladimir, real Vladimir Putin is, what happened to him. But there is very, very, various doppelgangers of Putin floating around. One looks more Asian, the other looks more German, the other looks more Jur European. We don't know who is the real Putin, but it's not the real Putin. But anyway, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. It does seem, though, that uh, Father Abel's predictions about St. Uh, Catherine the Great II and uh, the last Tsar, the Romanovs, Nicholas, Tsar Nicholas II, did, uh, were fulfilled. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.